Hi Pisces, welcome to your monthly reading. It's going to be for uh, November 2020. Got a little lost in time there. Um, but today we're taking a look at a connection that you're dealing with and your career, okay? So keep in mind that the worlds could be reversed when you're talking about love, that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check your other signs, but if it does, feel free to give it a like, subscribe, and comment. That really helps the channel to grow, so I'd greatly appreciate it. And always take what resonates with what doesn't, all right? So let's see, for your overall uh, theme for the month, we have complacency, gratitude, Ooh, yes, prayer. I, I was kind of expecting it because it sounds like a closure. It really sounds like a closure. So stuff from the past, uh, past relationships, a past job, past hurt overall, system beliefs, all that closure. It is all coming to an end because you're coming from this gratitude place. Like, man, okay, so I went through that, but that taught me that. And I went through that and that showed me that. And I've learned that from there. And you're getting a lot of happiness out of bad moments. That is such a beautiful, not easy, but such a beautiful thing to do. And because you're doing that, you're manifesting more good and positive things into your life from this gratitude perspective. And you're manifesting and attracting your wishes. Okay? That is such a beautiful thing. And especially having this, oof, I love this. Look at this, we have wisdom, joy. The joy is a little bit of a fool energy. It's about taking a leap of faith towards somewhere and knowing it's not about, it's knowing the difference between a calculated risk, which is this joy, and stupidity. Miracle, expansion, you start seeing things growing. Bittersweet, destiny. You start attracting the one, you start attracting your life purpose. So that's really positive here. And if you're not doing that already, then I really advise you for like throughout the month of November, not only throughout the month of November, that is actually something that I do every night, uh, which is gratitude journaling. That totally changed my life and my perspective of life. So I really, really recommend. Let's take a look to love. We have the, ooh, look at this, soulmate. Nice. You also have keep an open mind and healing family issues. I don't think that you know this person yet. I feel like it's someone that is approaching you. Um, but before they come, they may not even, uh, I'm really good at that, they may not uh, appear this month. But it's the work that you do this month that allows them to come to you quickly. And who is coming exactly? Wedding, express your love, and this could be the one. Someone who loves you unconditionally, who is not afraid to express it the one. All right. So it's really, really nice. And we have let your friends help you. So this could actually be a friend uh, that you're not totally, you, you may not be aware of your feelings for this person. Because again, I don't feel like it's, you don't see them romantically. That's what I mean. You may meet them through a friend too. Um, and it may be a very different person from your usual type. That is what that keep an open mind talks about. Okay, and you have those family issues, those beliefs um, that were created about love, that were creating during your childhood, they need to go, okay? Possibly your parents' relationship wasn't the best and you thought that that was love. You thought that that was what you were going to get. Not true, okay? So it's time for you to release those beliefs and start creating something else. Uh, the two of pentacles fell to the ground. So when this person comes, you may actually be a little bit like back and forth. Is this person really supposed to be in my life? Am I really supposed to do this? Or is this really supposed to happen? Uh, it is. All right. It is. Because the star was actually bottom of deck before we cut it. Uh, which is wish fulfillment. Okay. The one. Wedding. Right. So. Bottom of the deck has the overall energy. We do have the Knight of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, especially Virgo. But you're creating, oh my goodness, you're creating such a beautiful energy for yourself. Slowly, but you are. And that is allowing you to create beautiful new relationships, to create abundance, to create stability. Um, it's attracting you 
not only this person, I do feel like now talking a little bit about career already, um, it could be attracting to you partnerships that are going to bring you a lot of money. And that is all from the work that you do, that, that you put in yourself, okay? All about these issues that you heal, okay? This gratitude that you have. Wow, Ten of Cups for you, for your person, Seven of Cups. And where this is going is the Four of Pentacles. Things, I feel like you're going to both of you start very like, I don't know, like what to do. It could have been for both of you. It could have been a very long time since you like dated someone or went on a date, uh, talked to someone at all. And that way, you know, in a romantic way, uh, I do feel like both of you have been married before or have been like, or have been like a very long-term commitment. And so it's hard for you to fall in love again. It's hard for you to really feel that love again because you're scared of things, how things happen. You're scared of things happening again. But with the Ten of Cups on your side, you're really focused on, okay, no, I want something committed. I want my true love. I want my soulmate, my twin flame. I want the one. I want something that lasts. I want something that is my happily ever after. I want someone in my life that I'm going to die next to. Like, this is the end goal. And for this person, I feel like this talks more about who they are rather than where they are currently. With the Seven of Cups, I'm getting very, like, it's not your first choice. Like, if you were presented with, uh, this is this is so not right, but if you were presented with a bunch of people, a line of people, for you to choose as your one and only, you would not choose this person. That's the thing. You would not choose this person. And, and I feel like that is a little bit why you may resist it a little bit. It's because it feels right, but at the same time you're confused because you're not used to this sort of thing. And also in terms of emotion, I feel like this person will bring you like a full spectrum of emotions that you've never felt before. So that is how you'll know that this is the one. It's because you'll never felt like this before. It's not about the who, it's what about, it's about the what the why feel, okay? But let's pull a couple more cards for each so we can get a little bit deeper. All right. Eight of swords, five of swords, yeah. You may still be a little bit caught up on a past person. Let it go. Really let it go. Okay, and now is the time to do it because I really don't feel like that person is going to bring you the fulfillment and the what you were looking for. So if you're still attached to your ex, let it go. Because that is actually blocking you. That is preventing you from actually connecting with this person. And you are already doing a pretty positive movement towards self-independence, towards um, self-codependency, towards you. But there is something missing. It's like you're still holding on a little bit to someone from the past or to... To that idea, from that to that belief that your parents' relationship is going to be yours. That's not the case. Really look into those beliefs and really look into the people that are around you that you're still holding on to and that are not allowing you to move forward. This could actually be, I feel like for some of you, you could actually have a friend that is sort of pushing you away. They may have feelings for you. It's not that person. It's not that person. But they are sort of pushing you away from like going back into the dating game or just, you know, just going back. Um, they are pushing you because they may have feelings for you and they don't want to lose you in that way. Okay, so really look around and pay attention to the, the things that the things and people you have around you. Okay, this person with the seven of wands and the page of wands, I feel like they are going to start again as a friend has someone that you have really nice conversations, they are going to be holding back a little bit uh, because they possibly have been hurt in the past and possibly, like you, have been in a very long-term relationship and it's hard for them to get back at it. But they, they are so much fun. Possibly connecting with a fire sign, um, Aries Leo Sag. Especially, I'm getting especially Sag energy, so you could definitely be connecting with a Sag in the future. But they, I feel like they show you a whole new world. 
they show you a whole new different perspective of life. But at the same time, I feel like your beliefs, your views of specific things, like it's the, the ideals that are important to you, the values that are important to you, they have the same ones, okay? They may think totally differently on other aspects of life, but when it comes to those values, to those ideals, they have exactly the same, okay? We also have clarifying the four of pentacles, four of cups, and the six of pentacles. It's going to start so slow <laughs> because you're both going to be resisting. You're both going to be a little bit like, uh, I'm not sure if this is the partner that I want. I'm not sure if like, th this is not my usual type, so I'm not sure if I should trust it. Uh, it, it is going to be very like, oh, okay, here's a piece of conversation. Here's a piece of conversation. And then after a bunch of months later, you actually go on a date. You know, it's going to be very, 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 very slow. All right. But I do feel like it is going towards someone, somewhere um, stable. Because it's so slow, it, you're creating stability out of it. So let me pull some messages and advice for you. In regards to love. Okay. Yeah, talking about closure. Something needs to end. Healing. And that thing about looking around the things that you have. Uh, looking at the people that you have around you. Look around. There's something you're seeing. Someone is blocking you. Okay. Someone is blocking you. We also have listen to your inner child. There we go with those um, childhood issues, okay? And especially pairing it up with journaling. Um, look at some like uh, inner child journaling prompts or childhood beliefs prompts. Something, I feel like journaling about it uh, is going to be very important for you to help you release this, to help you get to that closure, okay? Speak up. We're by your side. Also, when you meet this person, you may feel very constricted, very not. A, it's not ashamed. You won't know how to act. It's like you lose yourself. You really don't know what to do. You really don't know what to say, how to be, how to exist. Uh, just let it be. Okay. Just be yourself. Try to be yourself as much as possible. Okay. We also have uh, we're by your side. Believe. So this prayer, this wish fulfillment is really coming to you, okay? Wake up and go now. You are on the right path. And hang in tight, change is coming. Embrace it. When you meet this person, embrace it. Fully embrace it, okay? So that is it. Let's move to your career. All right. So we have confusion. Perseverance. And perception. It's not about where your eyes are leading you. It's about where your heart, where your passion is leading you, okay? I feel like you, uh, it's like you, you sort of need to figure out where you want to go, okay? Put your goal in there. And then how you get to it, just sketch a really rough plan and go with the flow, you know? Because you won't see everything that you need to do uh, until you actually do it, until you actually go for it. And I feel like you're waiting for the perfect moment. You're waiting until you have everything figured out. Do you have all the plans sketched and all the to-do list? Figure it out before you can actually move. No, keep moving, okay? Walk, just keep working, keep doing stuff, all right? So let's pull some tarot here. Right, so the overall energy, a lot of closure. Eight of Cups with the King of Wands right underneath it. You're finding your power out of pain, out of confusion, out of failure. You're actually figuring out a passion that you have. You're actually figuring out um, a way out, something way better. Okay, a new beginning, Ace of Swords. All right, so go for it. Don't be afraid to go for it. Current situation, nine of cups. Your focus should be in the hanged man. Your block is death. And what can you expect for the month of November? We have temperance. Three major arcanas out of four. That is quite something, okay? I feel like right now, you're 
a little bit confused about your next step. It's like everything is working out pretty okay. Um, like things are not that bad. I'm actually happy where I am, but there's something missing. I'm not sure what I should do here. I'm not sure what I should do next, where I should go. And so take your time to figure that out. But once you have that figured out, um, don't be afraid to move because I feel like what you're going to figure out is a little bit like that keep an open mind. Uh, it's, it's going to be something different. Don't be afraid to change your life. Because I feel like sometimes we find the perfect formula. We find the perfect product, you know, the perfect thing that is working. And so why should I change it? If this is working, why should I change it? Sometimes change is needed. And I feel like you're blocking change when it's actually what you need is change, is try th different things. And so continue with that closure. What can you, what you can expect uh, for the month of November is this temperance, is this closure out of things that were not good, is the closure on confusion, is you getting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of clarity, especially having that hanged man there um, on your focus. You're going to get a lot of clarity. You're going to know exactly where to go, not how, but where, where to go. And it's going to be a little bit scary because I don't feel like you ever considered that option. I feel like it's going to be totally something completely different. Um, and you're scared of how that may go, especially if you have followers or something. Uh, you may be scared that people won't appreciate that idea or won't appreciate change, that won't, they won't like it. That's not necessarily true, okay? So let me pull some cards for the Nine of Cups. Queen of Swords, Six of Cups. There may be an old project that you're actually curious about, that you actually want to try, and you may be scared of it. You may be scared of changing the idea of the business, changing what you have been building, um, you're scared of that changing will actually rock a uh, rock apart like everything that you have been built. That is not true. It is just a new step. It's just another floor of that tower. It's just another floor of, and this I feel like it is a stable tower. Okay, so it's not going to fall down into pieces. Uh, it's just another floor. You're just building something else, and I feel like you already know where to go. You just don't want to accept it. So let me see the hanged man. Yeah, High Priestess Three Cups. Definitely something from the past. Possibly something that you discussed with your friends like, oh, uh, you know, I had this stupid idea, like we could do this. And you're like, I'm never going to do that, but it would be so cool. Do it. It's stupid. It may look stupid, but it's not. It would be cool. Do it. It would make you happy. Do it. Okay, I feel like you know exactly what you want. Follow your intuition. Really focus on that and don't be afraid to take uh, new risks all right so let me see the temperance on what you can expect for the month of november seven of cups eight of wands yeah a lot a lot of movement but it's like the opportunities are endless you figure out like oh i have a whole new world to explore i have a whole bunch of constructing materials to build my floor that's so awesome and then things just start moving because you get really excited you know it's not that things right now are getting to a dull point i don't feel like that is the case but things may be starting to get a little bit monotonous a little bit too comfortable and i feel like this is going to excite you okay Oops. let's see all right. Oh, come here. Okay. Man, the gratitude card is coming up like crazy. So you have be grateful, learn the lessons. Yes, something didn't work. Why didn't it work? Okay. We also have um, the situation is not what it seems. So it's that thing. It may feel like you're, if you change your perspective or if you change your way of acting, that everything will fall apart. Not the case. 
okay? It's not the case. You are not alone. And I do feel like friends have some sort of help here. You may actually re not receive ideas from friends, but I feel like it's conversations with friends that may give you ideas. Go for them. Okay, lack of control, everything is unfolding how it's supposed to. Speak up, and this speak up, I feel like it's more about own up your ideas. Like, don't ignore them, just go for them. Don't be afraid of change. Rewrite your story. Go with the flow, everything is gonna be okay. All right? And also, don't forget to drink water. Uh, this usually is my, like, go with the flow, uh, but I'm getting specifically that you need to drink more water. Yeah, own up to your ideas. Don't be afraid of change, okay? So, Pisces, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. Hope it helped somehow. And I'll see you in the next one, right? Bye-bye.